Hey guys, it's Brooke here. Um, I'm not doing an official video. I'm just bored today. I'm in the car waiting for my fiance, and we're gonna go grab something to eat. Um, yeah, man, I'm just chilling. You know, it's gray outside, rainy days, and it's like, yeah, it's very chill. I have no makeup on today, no hair, no weave, just no nothing really. Just being myself, you know. Sometimes you gotta do a video like that. These are my natural locks. You know, it's nothing special, you know. It's just, sometimes you just gotta be yourself, man. All that faded Photoshop and all that shit, like these bitches out here, they can't take one day to just embrace who they are, you know. The body that you were given and um you know sometimes it's hard being a woman it's hard um just just uh having the courage to just come on camera without makeup or anything like you know it's whatever i don't care if people think i'm ugly or average or whatever just sometimes you just gotta stand up and say you know i don't need all that cake on my face every fucking time i make a video I could just make a video, um, being, being natural, and if I have to wear a weave and makeup just to get people to pay attention to me, then those aren't the right people I'm trying to attract, so, but, uh, I'm just, I feel like taking a nap, I worked out for two hours today, and, um, I'm just done, you know, I've been on a very heavy schedule, I've been working out four times a week, practicing my art five times a week, I've been really pushing myself further and further each month to achieve just just higher quality, a higher quality life. So it's a lot of work. So every time people see me in pictures, like they think I'm smoking weed all the time because my eyes are low. I'm not smoking weed, man. I'm just tired. I'm just exhausted from trying to just just reach my max potential. In everything that I do I want to be my best at everything that I do so it's gonna require more of myself working really hard and putting in that time so I might look all high and tired all the time but I'm just tired because I'm trying to to really um, get to those higher levels I'm on a grind ain't nothing wrong with that Ain't nothing wrong with being on a grind. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need fucking sleep. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel like taking a nap. Nobody's gonna fucking wanna sit here and, and watch me take a damn nap. I'm not that important for someone to sit here and waste their time watching me take a freaking nap. Oh, guys, thank you for watching this random video. I hope it has helped you in some way. Probably not. Probably not going to get a lot of views on this. I don't care. Sometimes it's not about views, guys. It's about getting the word out as best as you can. And um, I'm not. I'm not going to be sitting here fighting for likes and all this shit on these social media and these subs. Look, if you want to listen to me, you could come find me. I'll put my stuff out there, but. I, f I miss real, you know, I really respect YouTubers and people who really keep it real on their shit. And it's not always about makeup and, and fake up and fake shit. It's, it's about truth and, and spirituality. And I, I really thank God. I really thank the creator for people who have who, who have the courage to, to do what they do as far as the truth or movement is concerned. And um um, it's been, a, for me, I've been trying to be a truther and stuff, but it's been tough, you know, I've been trying to do it in a way where it's like, you know, I'm getting that, getting that truth out there, my artwork and, and everything that I do. Um, I don't want people to think I'm preachy and holier than thou, like, I'm so beyond the matrix and all this shit. I don't want people to think that I'm, like, trying to be, like, above I'm above I feel like I'm above people because I I seek truth and and I'm tired of the bullshit. I don't want people to think that I'm being a, a freaking prude or um like I, I'm putting folks down and stuff. I'm just 
you know, you get to a certain age where you just get tired of the bullshit every day. You get tired of, like, trying to impress people and trying to put on a mask and trying to do all this shit where it's like, why? I can't, I'm not good at being fake. I'm good at being myself, you know, but I'm not good at freaking being fake all the time. You know, there's a time and place for freaking makeup. I wear makeup, I wear weave, you know. But when I look at my people, black women, and, and I and they they feel like they have to wear straight hair to feel like they're worth looking at or they're worth something or, or they feel beautiful or they get this hidden confidence like, yes, my hair is straight and wavy and, and you know, it, when you don't, when you have your natural hair, you don't have that confidence. And I just pray that black women just get out of this bad self-esteem shit. I've been there. I've been in the perm phases. I, I wear weave and wigs, but there's just a time where it's like, you know what? Fuck this weave. Fuck this makeup. You know, I'm using a, you know, I, I want to just be myself sometimes without being judged. But unfortunately, we live in a world where fake is, is good and freaking fake is good. Real is bad. If the, you know, so... I just hope people can appreciate my message that, no, I don't feel like I'm the best looking person in the world, but there has to be a time where I want people to appreciate who I am as a soul more than this physicality because I know that my body will perish one day. And I, you know, it's nothing wrong with having fun with what you got, you know, put a little makeup on, dress cool, whatever. But at the end of the day, I want people to love me for who I am and not what I'm wearing, how much money I got, my weave and all that stuff. It just gets old and it gets tired. Because when you get old, you realize this world was more than just hooking up with a mate or being, you know, it's in a woman's nature to be attractive, to attract people, to have magnetism. I understand that, but... I get so sick of TV and media and, and and shit like that where it's like you you don't really find too much realness. You find people do what produces the best results in their life. And I get it. It's all about survival. Because the reality is when you put on nice clothes and, and hair and stuff, even if it's fake or not, people do treat you better and you get more results. That's why folks do it. You know, but sometimes you got to sit back and understand what real really means. Um, you know, so that's why I'm chilling here and I'm going to fall asleep, guys. So I'm going to go bye bye.